you want to talk about the the recommended way to uh, manage uh, the assets, uh, teams, and partners. Uh, so that's with the, the business managers. So today's uh, call is about uh, meta business uh, setup. So you want to talk about the, the recommended way to uh, manage uh, the assets, uh, teams, and partners. Uh, so that's with the, the business manager. So the first step is creating an actual uh, business manager. So this is the link um, to create business manager. So you can go to business.facebook.com for slash overview. And then you can just follow the steps there. Um, very easy. You just enter like the business name and your name. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, but there's uh, a catch. It's, it's two uh, per profile uh, lifetime. So uh, meta recommendation is if you're maxed out to ask uh, friends, family uh, to create it. And then, and then you can share the admin access and then you can kick them out if they're not related to the project, you know. So that's kind of the first step. You know, there's other ways to manage it with personal ad account, but this is just uh, the professional way. Uh, so everything's in one place. And for security too, uh, there's like two-step verification uh, for business manager access or for a sensitive uh, area. You can play with the settings on your business manager about that. So um, yeah, adding the, the assets to the business manager. So the first thing would be the page. So here I have it open real quick on the um, solution eight. So I'll show you uh, actually. So uh, let's say I just created this uh, business manager. The first step I'd like to do is to add the actual page. So uh, usually you'll have a page already created. So you can just click here and add a page. If not, you can create a new page. Uh, just need to select the category and page name and then you're done. Of course, there's a bunch of other configuration you, you should do on the page, you know, like setting up like the, the description, uh, the location, a uh, bunch of things that you can do. Um, yeah, and often like if you create a new page, uh, I often say that it will deliver higher CPN, uh, kind of penalize you for some reason, or maybe there's a lot of, uh, you know, black hat uh, people that, you know, create a new page and maybe that's a way of, Facebook to keep keeping that to a um, to a low amount, I guess to to manage it and um, yeah. So just something to keep in mind. So if you have the option to uh, you know use the page, often sometimes the access they don't have admin access to add it to the the BM, but it's worth uh, you know digging deep to get the page instead of creating a new one. So it's a big thing. The Instagram you can also add the Instagram. Uh, there's a spot for it, but it's optional. Because uh, you know, in the page uh, settings, you can connect the um, the Instagram um, to it, and then once we create the ads, it would automatically uh, connect uh, with the Instagram, so you'll be able to to deliver. It. If there is no Instagram account and they don't want to create one, you can still use the Facebook page to advertise on um, on Instagram. The only thing is, that if they click the profile, you know, they won't go to an actual profile, and you can't manage comments. So, of course, recommendation is to to have one. Ad accounts, so ad accounts right there. So often, you know, uh, each profile has a personal ad account that you can kind of con convert into a professional by adding it to the business manager. So you can add account uh, just this way and put the um, ad account ID that's usually in the URL somewhere or in the, you know, the ad account settings. Or you can create a new ad account. So new ad accounts, not like new pages, you know, they're, they're totally fine. The only thing with new ad account is that you often have um, a fifty dollar uh, spending limit? So I'll get I'll get uh, to it. But as you spend, uh, you know it will increase. Uh, so that's something that's relatively new on Meta. Um, yeah, again, it's probably to fight black hat people and stuff. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, is is there any limit of number of account ad account on the business? Manager. Yes, as you go, um, as you go, you'll have more options. You have option to create more. I believe there's a spot to know how many you can create. So yeah, so here we have like a, a big, a, a big amount. But I think new BM are like uh, one, and then they go to three, and yeah. it really ramps up. Um, okay. Yeah. It depends yes. on your spending on ad account. Then they increase this limit, correct? 
Right. Didn't right. create a business manager starts with one or five, as far I know. Yeah. You can get only one or five ad account in the new business manager account. Business manager. Yeah. Just, I think that's okay. right. Yeah. But you know, I don't think there's a need for many ad accounts. I mean, if you have like, if you want to spend more right off the bat, uh, if you have an option to create more, you can cap out, uh, you know, the $50 on three accounts, for example. So, so that gives you 150 to spend, but the, the daily spend limit goes up uh, pretty quick. Um, next, the big thing is the pixel. So um, they kind of have, they kind of changed the name a little bit, you know, it used to be here in the pixel. As, as you can see, like this is uh, grayed out. It's now into uh, data sets. Uh, that's where you uh, okay. can uh, create the pixel uh, or um, add a new one. So we can just name it. Uh, actually, you can't really uh, name a new one. And uh, one thing I didn't, um, I didn't uh, put in my doc, but that's important is to um, assign assets. So you want to connect the data sets to the ad account. So you can go connect assets and connect it. Um, just like that, quite easy. Um, catalog, so that's just for e-com business, but um, catalogs, um, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's the name says it, it's like all your products uh, that are, uh, you know, complying with meta advertising policies. I think they don't allow gift cards and digital products and uh, a bunch of things, but you know, uh, knives and stuff, you know, that won't, that won't go through, but all of your product, if you use the Shopify integration, that will be automatic. And that will, uh, so you don't need to do anything that will most likely be in the um, commerce account or catalogs. Uh, that would be the, the way for a non-business, a non-US business. So, yeah, catalog section. And then for USA, you can have uh, a shop, the commerce. Um, these are, so on, on Meta, you have the option to either send people uh, only to the website or website and shop and let uh, Meta optimize uh, where they think it's most likely to convert. So either they convert on, your, on the shop or uh, on the actual website. Um, yeah, and then you can add team members and give them access. So I think I forgot the partner part, but I'll get back to it. So here on people, you can just invite your team member and can you either give uh, admin admin access or uh, just partial access, employee access, and then uh, an, an admin needs to, uh, to give the permission. And then, uh, oh yeah, partner is next here, so. Um, so yeah, so we have a little uh, drive. Uh, it's not really a drive. It's just a, a sheet that kind of simply uh, let uh, clients know how to give a partner access. So this is our business uh, ID that they they enter uh, when they do the partner sharing. So we could also uh, we can also request uh, access um, to a partner. So we can ask them to to give us access. We just need to have their business ID. So sometimes they. You don't know where to find it. Or uh, if, let's say, I would be the, the client and I would like to give access to the agency, I just go in there and then give the agency, uh, put in the agency business ID and follow the steps. Uh, it's important to add the, the page and ad account. Sometimes they'll just give us the page or just the ad account. Um, yeah, so we want to have both there, uh, which I think it's... Uh, yeah, ad accounts. When well, ad accounts is 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 the crucial to to audit. But if we want to check the post and a bunch of other things, we like to have the page also access. And of course, if we we have them as clients after the audit, we want to get all of the um, assets that I that I just uh, talked about right there. My next point here uh, was just the basic uh, setup uh, of campaigns, ads, and ad set. So it's kind of similar to, to Google. So we have kind of three level. This is really basic, I know, but I uh, thought I, I sh I'd share it. So uh, we have campaigns. Uh, this is where you, you'll select your, your objective. 